He owes me close to $6,000. Nobody wants to work for free, so I left. This is Daniel Iacella and Alina Azarchik. They are former co-workers at this small Upper West Side Italian cafe. Bomboloni is located on 69th and Columbus Ave. Daniel says he worked there as the store manager for a little over two years. Alina says she worked there for six months as a pastry chef and is owed over $500 in back pay. The two showed us their last pay receipts. Since the 22nd of December, I haven't received a full paycheck. Uh, I basically worked from the 22nd to the 19th of February without getting paid. Alina is a single mother of two. She can't afford to miss paychecks. The last three paychecks just never came. I was told on a certain day that I would get the payment and when the day came, he didn't show up and I didn't get the money. Bombaloni is owned by David Ruggiero. So before we go in, please allow me to provide you with some historical background on the infamous Mr. Ruggiero. Hey, how are you? I'm David Ruggiero and welcome to the show. He was one of the first so-called TV celebrity chefs. David Ruggiero burst on the scene back in the 1980s when he was named executive chef at La Caravelle. But then he fell from grace in 1999 when he was caught stealing more than $140,000 from customers' credit cards while working at Le Chantilly. He said it was a bookkeeping error and was given a slap on the wrist. And please welcome David Ruggiero. Back in 2011, another Ruggiero eatery, Sushi Agogo, was closed due to non-payment of taxes. In 2006, his Upper West Side deli, Lansky's Old World, was trashed and anti-Semitic graffiti was scrawled on the walls. That same year, while working as executive chef at Uncle Bacala's in Long Island City, the place was evicted for failing to pay $48,000 in back rent. In 2011, while owning Bombaloni and neighboring Jalapeno, he filed for Chapter 11 protection. David Ruggiero was not in on this day. His manager, Glenn, slipped out the back door and we never saw him again. So we were left with this genius behind the counter. I need you to hand this card to you. Mr. Ruggiero. Would you? I'm not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to give I Mr. Ruggiero a card? You can't give him my business card? I'm just working here, so. That's the I idea. I see him, so. Okay, give it to Glenn. Okay, would you give my card to Glenn? You can leave on the table. I don't you're not going to touch your. No. Can you believe this guy? You're not going to touch the card? I'm not what is this? What is this? What's this? What are they running here? You're afraid to touch my card? I'm not afraid. I'm just not interested. You're not going to touch. I'm here to serve you bombaloni, coffee, espresso, okay. whatever you need. I understand. Gelato? Okay, a gelato. That's all. Gelato, I don't gelato think does look good. So I left my card on the table, explained the situation, and asked this character to please have Mr. Ruggiero call me. A simple request. You're not going to pass my message along? And it's not my job to do that. My job is to serve one more and make coffee. Right, would you go get Glenn, please? That's not even my job to do that. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I thought I had a promising career with him, and unfortunately, I, I didn't. You have to stick up for what's right. You can't just walk away and let people get away with certain things. I went back to Bombaloni and the place was closed. I called David Ruggiero's last known legal representative. He told me he would not give me Mr. Ruggiero's phone number, but he did take mine and said he would pass it along. I'm still waiting for the return phone call. If you have a problem, think I can help, download the Help Me Howard app. It's free. And of course, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.